Hey guys, Lance here with another video on what to do if you're just really not feeling that deadlift today. So, you know, I've met a lot of people who do really well with deadlifts. They can lift with intention and they can lift really quickly and they can feel fine. They can feel their hamstrings. They can feel their glutes. They feel great afterwards um, and they don't notice persistent back tightness, right? Um, <laughs> I hope you're that person. But if you're more like me and you don't notice those things, one, let's try not to be too aware of what you're finding and feeling and stuff. I think that can put the brakes on you. I think that can hold you back. And so um, it may be helpful to not be so mindful of what you're doing. Just say, hey, I'm looking for hamstrings. Do I feel hamstrings? No, I don't. Well, let's, let me try to fix something. Rather than I only feel it in my back. I'm trying to get my back in the right position. If you focus on what you're trying not to do, you're only gonna be able to feel it. You're only gonna be able to notice that, right? That's how attention works. If I, <laughs> if I say don't think of uh, yellow VW, you're gonna think of a yellow VW right away, okay? Now, let's talk more about what to do if you're not feeling it. What does that mean if I'm not feeling my deadlift? So, so to me, I can tell that my hips feel a little bit more locked up. I feel like I, I can't load my legs so much. I feel like I'm trying to lock my knees out. Um, and I don't feel like I'm, I'm doing a muscular workout. I feel like I'm uh, doing a workout that is just supported by my joints and bones to be maybe hyper-analytical and overly focused on what's going on. But if you're noticing that you're doing your deadlift and you can't feel leg drive off the ground, you can't feel your quads breaking the bar off the ground, you can't feel your hamstrings driving your hips through, you can't feel your glutes locking you out at the top, then perhaps what you need to do is change it up. Okay, so that's our first step. How to identify it? Are your legs locked? Do you have leg drive? If you don't have leg drive, try to find it. If you still can't find it, no matter what you do, scrap the exercise. Let's try something else. And step two is what is that something else? Uh, to me, that something else makes the most sense if it is I guess it could be any really leg exercise because the two other types of leg exercises are mostly unilateral or single leg loaded stuff and squats. And I would do either. If, you're, if your back isn't feeling good, probably avoid the squats. Um, you may want to start with the single leg stuff. This seems kind of counterintuitive because normally we're, we're trying to load bilateral lifts, bigger lifts first so that we can use more weight. But in this case, if your legs really aren't feeling it, then I'm not gonna load it that much. I'm gonna try to find some sort of leg fatigue, leg burn, quad burn, hamstring burn if I can, but in my experience, every time someone tries to load that heavy, they're never gonna find it, right? They don't have the position, they don't have the tools to find it in that moment, on that day, at that time. So, we have to find something else. So, we've talked about the types of movements. So, you could do a single leg thing, you could do like lunges, reverse lunges, forward lunges, walking lunges, you could do split squats, you could do single leg squats, you could do step ups even. Uh, I'm usually avoiding step ups. I like to keep the tension on the muscle and that that translates into my next point. But first other thing, squats, you could do goblet squats, you could do front squats, you could do back squats, whatever will help you keep the tension on the muscle. Now, our next point, how are we keeping tension on the muscle? What are you talking about? So. I don't want you to come up to the top, sit there with that, that back tight, that knees locked position that you've been stuck in all day. I don't want you to do that. I want you to keep tension on your legs. I want you to keep your leg muscles active. I want you to prevent them from avoiding the fatigue and I want you to force them into fatigue. And so the way that we do that generally is we remove the ability for them to rest. And this allows me to still have to grind through reps, but I don't need the same amount of weight. Okay, and that's the key point here. What I'm noticing is that uh, extra weights are generally wearing people down sooner. And so if you're feeling worn down already, but you still wanna get your workout in, limit the weight, that's fine. Do more reps, do 20, 30, 100 reps if you have to, in one set if you have to, but 
don't pause at the top. Just keep going. Okay, you come up, you think like a, a general tempo lift. So if you've seen any of my tempo split squat or tempo squat variations, you're descending over three seconds and then you're ascending over three seconds and then you're descending over three seconds and you just keep breathing while you do that. But at no point do I lock out my joints and at no point do I stop moving and at no point do I stop breathing to reiterate that. We keep the oxygen going, we keep those muscles getting tired. And then towards the end, it's really uncomfortable and hopefully you can grind through it and hopefully you can keep going and, and you still get that effect of training. You still get that I'm building my fitness mentality, right? You're still pushing yourself. You're just not stressing out your joints so much. And I think this is really related to uh, occlusion cuffs and how those can be effective. So didn't think I was gonna talk about occlusion cuffs on any of these videos, but we are. So we've talked about the tempo, the reps, we've talked about the types of exercises we could do, single leg stuff and squat stuff. Um, that, those are my thoughts, right? So shoot for things that make your legs tired and you don't have to deadlift, right? Maybe you do some just hamstring curls afterwards and that'll get you your hamstring stuff. It's fine. I know it's optimal maybe to do something that's a multi-joint, I'm standing on my feet, hamstring exercise, but sometimes it's just not in the cards and that's fine. Okay, get yourself a training effect, do something that makes you happy, do something that will get you to come into the gym tomorrow.